So today I'm in Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, today I decided to revisit the state capital of Connecticut. Uh, it's just up the road here. I'm in Bushnell Park, uh, right adjacent to the capital. I was going to do this video with the capital behind me, but they were doing jackhammering, breaking up sidewalk, they were trimming trees and making all kinds of noise, so I came here with a little bit quieter. Uh, this is one of my favorite state capitals of all time. I've been to all 50. Uh, I got to take a tour this time. The last time I was here, uh, I couldn't take a tour because it was closed. Uh, but I was looking in the window because it was like about 5 o'clock. I wasn't sure if it closed at 5 or 5.30 or what. And a security guard pokes his head out. He says, ask me what I was doing. And so I explained to him, I've been to every state capital. I haven't been inside all of them yet. He's like, oh, oh, you got to see Connecticut state capital. So I got pretty much free reign of the place. This time I had a tour, a uh, whole bunch of little, uh, I don't know, elementary school kids in, in with the tour. So that kind of made it interesting. Uh, it's a really cool building. I love the display of all the different historic artifacts around it. Uh, the coolest thing to me, and they didn't even cover this on the tour, was the, uh, they've got a tree limb from the Battle of Chickamauga from the Civil War embedded in the side of that tree as a cannonball. That's just, I thought that was neat because the first time I ever saw it, I was like, what is this? And then you read about it. Yeah, so uh, you get to go into the uh, legislative chambers, typical legislative chambers, although the Senate was cool because it was round. And then they had, it looked like a throne, looks like a throne up on the front of the front of the room where the lieutenant governor sits. What's cool about this chair is that it was carved from the original Charter Oak. The Charter Oak uh, was giant tree it was like a thousand years old by the time it eventually fell down but back when uh, Connecticut was still just a colony uh, the king decided he was going to revoke their charter and in order to revoke the charter he needed the physical piece of paper that it was written on so the people of Connecticut decided hey we're gonna hide this thing and keep it from the king and so they rolled it up and they stuffed it in, up inside a hole a hollow spot in this thousand year old oak behind me here this is a descendant tree of that original uh, Charter Oak. They call it a Skyon Oak, Skyon of the original Charter Oak, something like that. I'm sitting on the historic marker, so I'm trying to read it. Uh, so this is cool. I think there's a couple of them here in Bushnell Park across, the, across from the Capitol. And the other side of the Capitol is the uh, State Supreme Court building, State Library, and there's a State History Museum. Uh, some cool exhibits in there. Colt Firearms, I'm guessing is from Connecticut. It didn't see or say, or I didn't see it. Uh, so there's an exhibit on that. But they also have on display uh, that original charter. It's in a great big, nice frame. Uh, it said that the top part, the seal on the, on the frame, was uh, made from wood from the Charter Oak as well that uh, older constitution of the state of Connecticut as well as the current state constitution there on display. So really cool stuff. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna wander around here a little bit. Uh, I might go and try and find the uh, spot where the original Charter Oak stood.